The leaves are beginning to fall off the trees. It's beginning to get dark earlier in the evening, 6-ish, 6 6.30, it's starting to get dark. There's still stuff to do in the evenings after work with the tractor, firewood things to do, etc. So it's time to improve on the exterior lighting of the Coyote CK3510SC. Stock, all that's on the tractor are these headlights. And the turn signal flashers on the on the ROPs. What I'm gonna end, end up doing here is taking these ROPs lights and moving them down to the other holes that are covered up with a sticker on the fender on either side, move the wiring harness down below, and I'm going to install some auxiliary lighting on the ROPs in these, these locations on both sides. I'm gonna put two forward lights and then one reverse light all on one switch. I'm gonna install that on the ROPs so I can have some auxiliary lighting to really light up what's in front of me. The issue I have with the current headlight setup on this tractor is if you got a load with the forks or whatever on the front, you can't see where you're going or what you're doing. So having some lights that are a little higher will help the, the vision capabilities in front of you. Now ideally I'd like to have them on top of the ROPs, but I found that majority of the time, since I've owned this for almost a year now, that I keep the ROPs down. I don't do a lot of side hill uh, loading. If I need to, if I get in on some hills, I'll put the ROPs up. But for the most part, because of where I'm, I store the tractor, I put keep the ROPs down. So I'm gonna install the lights on these, these mount spots and uh, make it a little bit better to see now that we're getting shorter daylight hours. Here's the lights I, I purchased. Here's one of them I just kind of temporarily hung up. There were some zip ties up on the ROPs here to see what it would be like, but now I want to move this light and mount it here. These lights I purchased from Tractor Supply Company. They have a bunch of exterior lights. They've got a, a switch, the whole lighting harness that you can purchase with a switch and connects to the battery, runs back. Here's the wire coming up. And I had already installed the whole switch and wiring harness last year when I temporarily hung these on top of the ROPs for some of the winter work I did last year. Now I'm going to get them more permanently installed. I've kind of been hanging on and not doing the process. Uh, so I got these. I'm going to have one, two of these square ones facing forward, and I'm going to have one round one facing back as a little smaller light. I want to have some light for when going in reverse as well. So before we get to the install of these lights, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out any comments below. So what I ended up doing is I the switch that came with the tractor supply wiring kit harness is a little round switch. You can see it here. Got it powered. And what I did is I took this these plates. These plates pop out, and I drilled a hole underneath to get that switch installed. There's two screws on the back side of the steering column here, and then some screws to hold this plastic mount on the dash. Pull those screws off to kind of loosen up my access to behind the dash here. The wiring harness connects in. I didn't really find the easy way path to get all the way up to the battery which is up front underneath the, underneath the air cleaner. What I ended up doing is just connecting the wiring harness. So here we go. Here's the wire coming from the, the dash. I just connected it directly onto the starter wires because that's still hot. Connected to the ground side of the wire and then also the the hot side of the wire for the starter. Ran that wire and harness, it goes up inside through the back into the dash and then it connects into this, this light switch. Then from this light switch it goes back out, out, out underneath, underneath the frame all the way through, and I've got it coming back along the ROPs. Here's the wire again, right there. And it's coming up, and I'm gonna terminate it up at this point on the ROPs. What's nice about this wiring harness that you can purchase from Tractor Supply 
they're quick connect fittings just you know positive negatives and they plug together tractor supply has splitters uh, some other stuff other things that you can make this wire and work i was there the other day they didn't have a lot of uh, selection as far as what i was looking for to make my proposed system work so i'm going to be doing some custom wiring some splicing and cutting and soldering to get my connections work working together all right so here's the lights that i got we got two of these square lights they're 22,000 lumen square work lights or five inch lights 45 watts and then i also have this one single round light for my reverse light which is a 1560 watt or lumen light this is the round light compared to the square light 50,000 hours to this one's a 30 watt light so I also got with the lights that I purchased here's some pigtails that we can use to splice into some things extend our wiring harness I also picked up a while back this splitter here's the end then it splits into two outs. Before we actually get to install the new lights, we gotta move these turn signals. Right now they come out of this wiring harness. There's a wiring harness that comes out and goes down underneath the fender and it connects into there's just some sim simple pull apart connections right here underneath the fender. So I'm gonna disconnect those and then we'll get the lights removed. To get the nut and the lock washer off, you just pull the lights off, pull the wiring harness out, and it's a tight fit with the two connectors, so just pull one through at a time. Voila! Okay, I found that. The glue on these stickers are pretty dry if you don't heat it up, so get the heat gun out and that'll loosen up this adhesive quite a bit and allow the sticker to be easily removed. Some of the adhesive stay behind, stays behind, but the majority of it's gonna get be covered by the bushing on the new on the light that's gonna be pushed down here. Once we get the sticker off, We'll take the light and feed the wiring harness back into the hole, one, one connector at a time. I'm not too concerned about that glue because this piece will cover that up. Slide that baby in there. There we go. Looks like it's made to be there. Here's the driver's side light install finalized. We have the light coming through and I just have the wiring harness I'm going to get you up in here a little bit sideways just the wires bunched up and I reconnected the, the connections and should be good to go get the other one done and then we can move on to the install so I set the setup one light in that bracket and I determined that they're a little too low yet in that, that location. I'd like to get them up a little bit higher, maybe a foot, 10 inches above these mounting locations. So I took some of this flat stock that I had here. It's probably 3 16 by inch and a half. And I painted it, cut it about a 12 inches long. And I'm just going to drill some holes into it and mount it on the inside of these brackets, these L brackets. Then I'll mount the lights to these, this stock. This will be a better picture on this side. Drill a hole through it right here and then mount the lights up on the top end. Spoils of war. Tools, etc. Now we have lights mounted. I'm gonna go over my process, what I did. So here's those brackets. Just 
about a foot long mounted the lights up on the top end they're nice and solid stainless 3 8 inch bolt lock washer nut here's the light mount on the top same thing on the other side so I got one forward on the left and then a forward on the right and a reverse on the right Here's the bracket on this side. So for the wiring, so we brought the uh, wire harne wiring harness comes out from the switch and this wire here. And I cut the wire and I put some connectors in the wiring harness back here. I'm gonna tape this together now uh, now it's easily removed if I need to, but I just have some female male connectors here. And then on this end of the connector, I have two wires coming out. So this is my first split to go. One goes up to the left side, the driver's side, and then the other wire goes to the passenger side. So I've got the original wire that I had, harness, going up to the passenger side, and then this is just a black extension cord two wire extension cord on this end going back underneath the fuel tank coming out on this side of the fender and then i spliced in one of the little ends that came from the lights from tractor supply so that's just a, a soldered splice and then some heat sh shrink wrap and or heat shrink and some electrical tape and then here is a splitter then that I have that I purchased from Tractor Supply. So it just connects into the fitting. So it's just a connection piece. So here's the two pieces apart. Connects in, it connects together and then it splits itself. And it's used this, the stock wiring connectors along the ROPS and then goes up and I just connect into the, the lights here. So here's one connection and here's the other connection. And that's it, very simple. You know, it just takes a little bit of time to get everything installed from the starter up front to the switch here. And then get the wires run and split. Should be nice. switches off and again that was the wiring comes from the starter over here goes up through the console comes to the switch and from the switch back underneath gets split and then from there goes up gets split right here from a single to double wire one feeding the left side one feeding the right side and then it gets split again right there in that connector to those two lights on top now I'll just clean up the wire a little bit and that should be it. So
I'm not sure if you can see me or not, but those lights are awesome. Now that we had get, got to test them at night, I can really see a lot towards the front, and I can see a lot towards the back, way better than just having the stock headlights. So that's awesome. This will be really good for working in the winter and working in the dark. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.